Hello, beautiful people. Um, I haven't been doing so great lately, I will admit. Some things have got me feeling pretty up, you know. I was being bullied and intimidated and talked down to in a forum, and I stood up my, for myself. I'm a paying member. I don't deserve to be talked to it like that in a, in, a, in, in a service that I, you know, put good money into. And um, I felt good about that, about standing up for myself, even though it was scary and hard and I was so upset, <laughs> but I had to do it. I had to say something. And um, the forum ended up getting, or the topic ended up getting shut down. One second, let me let me let the dog inside. The topic got shut down because <clears throat> it had gone completely off the rails and was now 36 comments long of me being talked down to, me defending myself and a rude rebuttal and me defending myself and an even ruder rebuttal that was immediately flagged and removed. I was able to edit my comment and repost it because I wasn't an aggressor in the situation. The only thing I did was I put a few things in caps because I wanted them to be a focus. I wanted them to be noticed words wasn't intended as yelling. It was a list. <laughs> so, but I understand, you know, why the topic was closed. It wasn't needed anymore. Obviously, I wasn't going to get my answer. And it had degraded into this long post of absolute bullshit. And I felt frustrated because I knew it was a problem with communication. I was communicating in what I thought was the clearest way. And this person was not understanding me because they were reading it through their tones and intonations and their intentions that those words mean. And obviously it was um, nowhere near <laughs> the same thing for me. Two people can have the same situation happen. They can share an experience and experience two very different realities. But my body doesn't process adrenaline well because of narcolepsy. I have no or little to no hypocretin or orexin, and that's what helps process adrenaline out of your system. So I can be perfectly calm and still freaking out chemically. So I was emotional. It had been now almost two weeks without a response from the fourth professional I attempted to contact in geology. And I felt frustrated because I don't know what I'm saying wrong to make people just write me off like that. I've tried editing and rewriting and rephrasing and nobody, nobody's responding to me. I have panic disorder with agoraphobia or social anxiety and panic disorder with agoraphobia. It's it, whatever it is, it's, it's a cluster of go fuck yourself. You're always going to feel right on the edge of a panic attack. You're always going to feel 
just a little bit unsafe. You're always going to feel like you're going to be laughed at, ridiculed, and have an emotional breakdown in front of thousands of people. My partner here is wonderful. He takes very good care of me. And I probably would not... Well, I hate to think what my situation would be if it wasn't for him. But sometimes I think he makes it worse for me. He is so set on protecting me. He tells me that I'm not ready for people. You're not ready for normal people. You can't handle crowds yet. And maybe he's right. So I stay home. The only problem is, all of my friends abandoned me. I have friends online, in other states, in other countries. But I get one visitor a week. I get my medical caretaker. I'm on my third one in about nine months. So I'm told that I can't socialize normally yet. I'm told I can't do groups yet. I'm told I shouldn't be around people yet. And no people are ever around me. And in the last three days, I have been reminded that nobody understands me when I talk. The way I speak gives the impression of somebody who is a liar. Because I use very measured speech. I think about everything I say. Because my panic reaction is to lie, to protect myself, to hide. But I don't like lying. I haven't lied in many years. So I'm careful about what I say. And it gives the impression of dishonesty. I am peculiar in my choice of words. So people question what I'm hiding behind those phrases that they get, but they don't hear often enough to quite fully understand. I mix idioms and turn double entendres into triple entendres. Last few days I've been reminded by many people that maybe I shouldn't speak either. I'm not a person who talks. 
just to hear the sound of their voice. I am a person who speaks very intentionally when I am asked to speak on something or if I feel passionately. Otherwise, I'm a very quiet person. And apparently that's a good thing. Because apparently, I'm not ready for speaking.